The first ship carrying Ukrainian grain left an Odessa port today under an internationally brokered agreement aiming to ease the global hunger crisis. That good news follows a ferocious Russian attack on a southern Ukrainian city as Ukraine pressed a counteroffensive. And Russian President Vladimir Putin is now announcing the deployment of hypersonic missiles in the coming months, saying these systems, quote, have no equal in the world. Patrick Rievel is live in central Ukraine for us. Uh, Patrick, I want to start with Odessa because I know you were there as that cargo ship left that port. Where is it headed and how significant is this at this stage in the war? Hi, Dan. Yeah, we were watching as that ship left Odessa's port this morning. It was a Sierra Leone cargo vessel carrying about 26,000 tons of grain, uh, of corn, sorry, I should say. And it was headed towards Turkey first, and then on eventually to Lebanon. And it is a major, major moment because, you know, for five months, no ships have left Odessa because of Russia's blockade. But because of this UN deal a week ago, this ship was able to leave. And it's hoped that it is the first of, of more to follow. There's about 16 ships still in the port. And the hope is that they will begin moving now once this one is able to show that it's safe for it to do so. But, I mean, and the reason that matters so much is because there are millions of tons of food crops currently trapped in Ukraine. I mean, you can see behind me this huge field of sunflowers. I mean, Ukraine produces around half of the world's sunflower oil that's consumed. And so, it, you know, it is a major, major contributor to the world food supply. And so it's hoped this will ease the growing uh, food crisis that is around the world at the moment. And what kind of sh uh, threats could these ships face as they head out to sea? So, I mean, the first kind of threat, I mean, is that the area around Odessa has been very heavily mined to try and prevent any kind of Russian amphibious landing. And so for the past two weeks, Ukraine has been clearing mines and clearing a, a channel that would allow these ships to go. I mean, one of the holdup was agreeing a route that was agreed by both sides, by both Russia and Ukraine. I think there remains as well a concern that Russia might try and disrupt this somehow and then blame Ukraine. But the main fear right now we're hearing from Ukrainian officials is that although Russia has agreed to this deal, it's going to try now and minimize as much as possible the number of ships that are able to get out of that port in the coming weeks. So without violating the deal, but still trying to d d you know, reduce the number of ships, either by strikes that would try and um, undermine people's confidence in sending ships in, or by even just bureaucratic obstacles by not agreeing the routes, for example. Now, Zelensky said that this latest strike on Mykolaiv is one of the most brutal in that region. So can you talk us through a little bit what happened and what makes this one different than the other attacks that we've seen from Russia so far? So Mykolaiv is a key city because it basically has halted Russia's advance in the south. It has stopped Russia being able to attack Odessa, for example. And for months, it's been, they, the front line has been near it. But in recent weeks, Russia has started pummeling the city. And the strikes have been getting worse every day for the past week or so. And last, and last night really was one of the worst. We saw a very heavy shelling that, destroyed, that badly damaged multiple buildings. They also hit a hospital that thankfully was empty at the time. But the reason the Russians are hitting it so badly at the moment is because you know, there is a counteroffensive by Ukraine that is starting to make some progress. And I think Russia is now stepping up its attacks on Mykolaiv in order to try and blunt that offensive. Now, that strike happened not far from Odessa, where that first grain ship just left. So was that a coincidence or part of a larger Russian strategy? I think it is a coincidence. I mean, because actually, you know, that ship, leave, that ship leaving and also, you know, this grain in general, um, this grain deal in general is actually the exception because right now there isn't much of a, there aren't many bright spots otherwise. Russia's strategy is still to try and take as much of Ukraine as possible. But really, I think the key thing is this Ukrainian counteroffensive in the south because they are starting to make progress. And so Russia right now is, is rushing reinforcements, including from the east, to try and blunt that offensive. But because of that, they're also stepping up their attacks on Mykolaiv and all along the south. And that is an idea is there to try and break Ukrainian morale, but also to degrade the capabilities to try and press this offensive. On the other hand, this is still a sign of that there is progress being made by Ukraine. And so there are some positive signs for Ukraine, at least in that regard. All right, Patrick Rival in central Ukraine for us. Thank you. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.